All right, guys. Um, welcome to my uh, first tutorial, first guide on how to get the most out of your uh, Star Wars: The Old Republic experience. Um, today, I have a PlayStation 3 controller um, hooked up to my PC, USB cable, and I have a couple of programs running in the background that lets me uh, custom map uh, pretty much any control that you would see from the options in the uh, key mappings and uh, overlay them your, on your keyboard uh, taking that input and um, it works pretty well actually it takes a little bit of uh, trial and error to get the best out of it but uh, in essence it, it makes it more like a uh, I don't know more of an action oriented experience which is you know, something I've always looked at uh, when I'm trying to find a new MMO. And um, I really hated the design where you had to uh, continually press the attack button over and over again. And so it's actually a lot more fun if you're using a controller like this. Um, it's not perfect, but with a little bit of patience and practice, you can get the most out of it. And uh, I'll show you guys a little more uh, in depth on what the controls are actually doing here. So I have uh, my jump would be um, R1. Okay, so my uh, controls would be left joystick does um, your strafing and moving forward and backward. My right joystick would be to uh, you know take over that mouse configuration as a left and right up and down and um, switching that to the gamepad axis and what I have here is um, a program called XPatter and Motion Joy running um, XPatter does a little bit more configurations on the side of sensitivity and toggling and some other features like that. And Motion Joys is pretty much the brains of it. It has every single configuration for every single button on your on your PlayStation, even the, the motion tilting like that. And uh, I haven't really found a use for that yet. I did start off using that as a as like a mouse kind of thing. But when I started using X Patter, um, you can actually get a lot more freedom and you can change the uh, sensitivity a lot more with that program. So, um, you know, right joystick, this is the basic movement. You can, um, and my left, top left, I have running as a target to the nearest, nearest uh, enemy. So, that's pretty easy right there. I already have options uh, letting the, the attacking to be done, auto attack the closest enemies. So, um, it's going to find the target. Um, my square, triangle, X, and circle are my basic attacks. My 1, 2, 3, and 4. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Um, now I have um, my trigger buttons as a shift and a control. And my left, my left trigger button is a uh, shift, which would press that. And then square, triangle, circle, and X, which would get you, you know, all uh, all like four more uh, skills, and and it makes it a lot easier to um, you know set up your attacks and get the most out of your your game. Time. Um, so I mean, that's pretty much what I'm working with right now. Uh, the right right trigger does the same thing. Uh, there's a couple of uh, features I want to use, um, kind of like uh, your secondary um, skills, like your your buffs and stuff like that. I have that mapped to my um, directional buttons. So say you want to recuperate, press down on like that, and and there it goes. And um, if you want to uh, toggle between your your free look that I have custom set up, um, you press that, uh, right right stick in, and you hit over to your your uh, loot, press the middle button, auto loot option, 
and uh, there you go, fight your fight your next enemy. Um, so it's it's pretty pretty effective. Um, my left my left trigger click in uh, would be just a regular mouse left left click. Um, so if there's something I need to click on uh, mid fight. Uh, you know, I, I might switch the keyboard here and there, but for the most part, I want to be able to do all my basic functions for um, my gamepad. So um, it's working out pretty well so far. Um, probably going to customize it a little bit more here, but this is just a basic, you know, default image that I could build on. And um, finding all kinds of stuff. Uh, it's just a matter of um, you just want to get control, you know, get used to the controls uh, before you start messing with too much of the of the um, key mapping programs because you you may not you may find yourself uh, putting too much um, keystrokes add to your gamepad and you and it you don't want to complicate things you want to keep things simple like kind of like a an arcade experience a little bit get get the you know the essentials onto there all overlaid you don't want to put too much before you you get used to it okay so those are pretty much the basic features um, I do have a select as my map so if I need to do you know look at something here find a quest uh, area objective I can go look at that real quick if I need to I do have my start selected to inventory which would give me, you know, uh, slight options of just custom outfitting my guy just on the go. I probably would use a keyboard later for that if I really wanted to, you know, tweak my character. But, um, you know, that's all pretty pretty handy and um, helps you when you're, you know, in your mid quest and you need to remove some items. Um, you use that and it helps out a lot. Uh, okay, so. I showed you all the controls, so let's let's try to get into some uh, action and see, you know, put put the skills to use basically. We're gonna find some um, some bad guys here. I think I have a quest I gotta turn in, so let's turn back this way. Get a town coming up. The uh, Ivakai work camp. Like I just, you know, I just started this game, so I was like, hey, you know, I, I try with every new MMO out there. I say, hey, let's see what this, what this game pad could do, and um, it's working out pretty well, actually. I, I used it for Rift back in the day, you know, when that came out, and um, you know, that worked out pretty well. So this is working out, you know, even better, I think. Yeah, I don't know why it's taking so long to load this, but okay. So, excuse me. Yes, over here. I know. I sound strange. And you the don't quest, have to say it. The good Forty thing about the um, by the river. breathing the noxious poison they produced made a fair number of credits, but now my lungs are useless. Spines are bent from hard labor. I can't do anything for myself. I gotta ask for help from someone strong like you. Okay, so the cool thing is with the um, the story missions, your conversation um, radial menu, you can you kind of highlight the stuff, but you don't want to be using a, a a joystick to select these options. You want to be able to press a button, and that's the great thing about this. Um, you got the one, two, and three on each of these options. So you say squares one, triangles two, and circles three from your hotbar. And um, you pick an option, say, um, you know, I'll pick option one. What's the assignment? Press square, Before just like that. And so if, you know, if you're sitting on the couch, or if you're uh, laying down, got your TV up, big screen, this is actually a pretty uh, useful way just to play a single player game of it without getting too deep in the MMO um, features. You don't have to get up and use a keyboard, so it's, it's a pretty good option there. And, um, 
That's very nearly sickening. I'm playing my guy as a, a good they bought guy. The settlers and spread lies about my work, all to preserve their precious industry. That industry. It just feels better to play um, an MMO with the controller the because you're playing it a long time, long, you know, long period sex. of time, and you don't want to have the river needed only one more get like cramps in your hand and stuff filth. like that. So All this this I'm controller is, is is that you take immensely the uh, useful. The river. Okay, this guy wants to. I'm pretty sure I did this, but of course I'll take the last treatment. I hope not. Thank you. This canister contains the purifying chemicals, the filtration systems up at the old muckworks. Good luck. That'd be a second part. I think it'll be before I destroyed the, uh, not to spoil anything, but I destroyed part of the, the purifying process. They're lazy, they're stupid, they complain all the time. And We'd another be thing. better off with droids. I don't have a, a uh, mouse wheel map to my controller, so hey, Bob, I'll show you guys what it looks anymore. like in Get first person. Stop wasting so, our time. I'm telling you, the new Zerka Labor models, they don't stink. That. You don't have to feed them. And, and there you go, you got, you know, and you got your Skyrim-esque um, experience right here. So, this, this wouldn't be possible with a, a keyboard. It would be possible, it wouldn't be useful because you can't free look as well, you know? So, you've got the same controls. I can roll over to this guy, throw a grenade, you know, pick up something real quick. Um, and you know, that that's just the benefit. And playing as your character, you know, First person view, you, you, you get to see from his height uh, perspective. So, and you get to see more detail. You know, you look at these little creatures, you wouldn't see that if you're playing third person. A little bit more immersive, in my opinion. And um, this is uh, all, you know, benefit to those custom programs, which I'll show you how to download and I'll show you where to get them. And um, I'll try to put up a couple of. Uh, custom configurations if you guys want to use them if you have a PlayStation 3 controller you want to try this uh, you can go ahead and um, you know edit it as you as you go but um, it's too bad there's no um, third or first person uh, weapon models and stuff like that that'd be really cool um, but you know, this is this is a pretty big uh, step for, and it would definitely keep me playing longer if I could play like this. So, so uh, I think you guys should check it out. And uh, this is my little tutorial and my my you know quick look basically on how to use your PlayStation 3 controller as a um, interface for your game. Thanks for watching.